Differences in sex hormones between men and women do lead to differences in uh, muscle strength. So looking at this, the strength of the upper body, women tend to be 40 to 60% weaker than men. The lower body, they tend to be 25 to 30% weaker than men. The difference between upper and lower body is because women tend to be more active with their lower body. Everybody uses their lower body to walk around, go up steps, things like that. Upper body tends to be less active unless you're purposely being active or engaging in exercise or athleticism in some way. In, in general, women do a little less physical activity in uh, sports than men. Of course, that's not the case for everybody, but in general, on average, that is the case, uh, especially when you look into adulthood. The reason why there's a difference in strength between men and women, it ha doesn't have to do with individual muscle cells and how they function, but it has to do with the cross-sectional area of the muscle. So if you were to compare men versus women with equal cross-sectional areas of the same muscle, you would find the same amount of strength between men and women. This is not a perfect comparison over here because I'm not looking at cross-sectional area, but this is collected on my own students. And you can see that there's a linear relationship. In general, men and women are the same strength if you look at the same size of the muscle. Resistance exercise training is really important for women. Women tend to suffer from lower bone mineral density than men, especially when they get into older years, uh, postmenopausal especially. And uh, resistance exercise is really good for maintaining or even growing bone mineral uh, density and improving the strength of your bones. Uh, this is uh, also important because Traditionally speaking, women were much less likely to participate in res resistance exercise than men. Nowadays, it's a little more equal between men and women with uh, resistance exercise uh, training, but it's still a slight discrepancy between men and women. The strength gains that are seen between women and men are a little different uh, because of the lower testosterone level that women have compared to men. They end up with less hypertrophy when they do resistance exercise, but they compensate with higher amounts of neural adaptations. So they do gain strength. They do gain the ability to move and produce forces at higher levels, but they do it less with hypertrophy and more with changes in their nervous system. There are also differences between men and women for cardiorespiratory fitness as well as metabolic fitness. So I'm gonna cover that in another video, so make sure that you watch that as well.